Hello everybody, welcome to Uncle Ty for Christ. Thank you so much for joining me today on Tuesday, May the 17th, 2022. It's uh, it's almost 1 p.m. Uh, anybody watched yesterday's video, thank you so much for joining me then. Uh, thank you for joining me today. God blessed me with another day off. I got up this morning and just felt led to call in. So I've just had another nice relaxing day. I guess this is the, the vacation he wants me to have. Praise God. Um, but thank you for joining me guys daily as we continue to go through this devotional. Uh, there we go. Kind of hard to do this with the camera anyway. Uh, Stand Strong, 365 devotions for men, by men, out of our daily bread. Anybody new watching this, even though it says for men, by men. Yes, Genesis 1.27 explains what man is, male and female. He created them. That's the word of God, not mine. Check it out when you get a second. It's uh, truth. Anything in the Bible is truth. But thank you so much for joining me, folks, as we continue this daily. So today, today's title is uh, Get in the Game. Get in the Game. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I'll explain this at the end while I'm getting that smirk. Only God. Only God. Mm -mm. Anyway, um, our study scripture is the important part, guys. I said it before, the meat and bones, the healthy part of these devotions is the Word of God. Our study scriptures. And today it's out of Colossians chapter 1, verses 24 through 29. And our lead off verse is Colossians 1, verse 29. And the word of God says, To this end I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. Who works it in us? Who Christ works in me. Amen. And our devotional today is written by Joe Stow, and he goes on to write, I love going to Chicago's Wrigley Field for a baseball game, sitting in the stands, downing a great hot dog, and cheering at the Cubs on to victory. <laughs> I'm sorry. Unfortunately, Christianity has become a lot like professional sports. Mm -mm -mm. As a friend of mine has observed, there are nine guys on the baseball field doing all the work and thousands in the stands just watching and as you probably know, that's not God's game plan for his people. He wants us to climb out of the stands, get onto the field, and join the team. If you are wondering what good you can do on the field, wander no more. You have gifts you can contribute. Bible backs that up, folks. God has given each of us spiritual gifts that can help advance his kingdom, whether it's teaching, encouraging, serving, showing hospitality or extending mercy each ability can yield great dividends let's follow the example of paul who tirelessly served on god's field for the joy of being used by him believe me it's far more rewarding to be on the field than to sit in the stands but man i'm telling you what I've said it before, I mean, even though this devotional does say for men by men, I know it was written to grasp the male audience, but ladies, anybody, I mean, anybody watching this today, if even if you didn't play sports, you've probably watched sports before, you know about sports. Um, I personally, I've told you in the past, you know, I played football, and you know, I wasn't always a starter. You know, sitting the bench, being part of the team, the joy is out on the field, guys. The joy is when you get in the game, when you get to play. And this is blowing my mind because I just, within the past half hour, was texting my sister Heidi from church talking about this. And that God is God is forming a new team. He is bringing the people off the bench, the people that have been bench warmers, and he's putting them in the game because he knows it's their time to shine. Guys, and if you feel God tugging on your heart recently and you don't know what's going on, I promise you that's exactly what's going on. He's... He's building up his church, his authentic church, and I've, you know, I'm not going to mention names. I had a conversation with a pastor the other day, and I may have already discussed this. I don't know, but it bears repeating. And I thought I'd ask the pastor, I said, why? Why can churches not come together? Why can we not just agree on what the Bible says? Why do we have to, why can't you come to our church and then the following week we come to your church? And uh, in a nutshell, his, his explanation was nothing but religion. It's religion that separates the churches. It's a religion that the body of Christ remains broken. And I texted Heidi. I said, you know, we're like in a Humpty Dumpty phase. You know, you know Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. And it's, it's, you know, it says even all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And I view king's horses and king's men as our pastors, as our ministers, our leaders. 
they can't put the they can't put the body back together again because they can't come together in agreement. It's the same game, guys. We're on the same team, but yet we're battling each other instead of battling against Satan, the enemy. And guess what? He's loving it. He's actually winning right now. He's keeping the body separated because of pride, because of egos, because of religion. Religion's got to stop. It's the same game, the same goal to come together as a key. And I believe, I truly believe God is bringing forth people that don't have plaques, don't have diplomas, don't have degrees from cemetery school. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not bashing anybody that has furthered their knowledge of the Bible. Theologians, praise God for you. We need you. We do. But we need to come together in agreement that the Bible says what the Bible says. But God is raising up people that have been sitting on the bench, putting them in the game because of the message and the knowledge and the revelation he's given them. And that's just, that's just awesome to know that God is calling you in. You know, I look at God as like the head coach and the owner, you know, to turn around, blow the whistle and point at you and say, hey, get in the game. I need you now. And that's what he's calling for so many of us to do. Maybe we feel like we're not ready, but if God's calling you to get in the game, he knows you're ready. So, guys, this is just a beautiful one. For me personally, it is. It's just beautiful for me. And it just goes to encourage you and just to tell you that God, the energy that powerfully works in you comes from Christ, comes through Christ. And I guess again, how do we do that? How do we get to know more about Christ and that energy? We read the word of God every single day, folks. We read it. We meditate on it. We read it again. We meditate on it again. We ask, get alone with God and just ask him to just to continue to build us up, to be used for his glory, his glory, his kingdom, not yours, not mine, his we're just part of the team, guys. So, again, this is just personally a beautiful one for me. I hope you guys find out. I hope, hope you find the same, feel the same. But, um, yeah, this is God's time, and he's speaking loud and clear. It doesn't matter if you think you're qualified to play. God, God's the one that qualifies you. That's in the Word. Find it. Google it. Where does it say God qualifies me? I don't know what book, what verse, what chapter. It doesn't matter. I just know it's in there, so I know it's true. So, God, thank you for just thank you so much for joining me, guys. And just, uh, man, it's time. It's time to get in the game. I love this title. Get in the game. Quit sitting on the benches and watching. Quit being an armchair quarterback. You know, get those nachos off your lap. Get up and get in the game. So, guys, beautiful one. So, till tomorrow, thank you for joining me. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it with that. Uh, I love you guys. Goodbye.